might say that that rat had it coming. But let's reconsider the rat for a moment, shall we? Rats, like humans, are one of the most resilient mammal species on the planet. And while they've long been maligned for their disease vector shenanigans, these unlovable scams don't get the respect they deserve. So let's reconsider the rat with five surprisingly human traits that rats exhibit. Number one, rats laugh. It was neuroscientist Jacques Panksepp and colleagues who figured out when rats were frolicking or anticipating playing with other rats, they emitted unique 50 kilohertz chirps. And one thing led to another, and well, before you know it, researchers were tickling rodents with what they call somatosensory stimulation. And because laughter is a stable temperamental trait, it can be selected for, which means, you guessed it, scientists created a strain of tickle-loving rats. Number two, rats think about thinking. We humans aren't the only navel gazers. A 2007 study by researchers at the University of Georgia used food as a motivator to get rats thinking about the things they didn't know and things they did. The rats were trained to press one lever when they heard a short burst of static and another lever for a long burst of static. If they pushed the correct lever, well, they were rewarded with a handsome sum of food pellets. If they pushed the wrong one, they got nothing. They also learned that they could get half the reward without making a choice, just by sticking their face into a food trough. Simple enough, except that the crafty researchers started to mix up the lengths of noises, which made it more difficult for the rats to classify the mid-range lengths of noise. And here's where thinking about thinking comes in. When the rats were uncertain about their knowledge, they'd cut their losses, essentially admitting they didn't know, and go for the small smaller reward by not making a choice. Number three, rats feel empathy. While some may take issue with describing rats as empathetic, the fact is that when a cage mate is trapped in a restrainer, a rodent will heroically try to free it, which makes sense when you think of how social rats are and the need for cooperation to survive. This study and others conducted by neurobiologists from the University of Chicago demonstrate that the rats not only help their own cage mates, but also rats from other strains that were essentially strangers. Number four, like like humans, rats take over large cities. Nearly all major cities have vast underground networks of thriving communities of rats living off the discarded largesse of humans. Rattus norvegicus showed up on the New York City scene in the 1800s and has made itself so ubiquitous that its very presence is actually one of the defining features of New York City. They successfully live off the detritus of humans. Simply follow the droppings and you'll find evidence. Nod holes between walls and bricks and buildings that are just some of their outlaw pathways. Number five, rats contribute to science a lot. Okay, rats aren't exactly volunteering, but because they're small, they reproduce easily, and their genetic, biological, and behavior characteristics closely resemble those of humans, well, they are ideal to study. In fact, 95% of all lab animals are mice and rats, according to the Foundation for Biomedical Research. Here are just a few of the contributions they'd put on their resumes if they had one. Used for experiments in cases of hypertension, diabetes, cataracts, obesity, seizures, respiratory problems, deafness, Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's disease, cancer, cystic fibrosis, HIV and AIDS, heart disease, muscular dystrophy, and spinal cord injuries. Pretty impressive. With all this in mind, let us now dwell on the quote in this article from Wired given by neurobiologist Peggy Mason. I'm perfectly happy thinking of myself as a rat with a fancy neocortex. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out these three videos as well. And don't forget to visit us at Stuff to Blow Your Mind Com. Animals, they're amazing, right? They can do all sorts of strange, fascinating things, and some even have superpowers. In a new study from the University of Utah, mother mice who competed for mates in a promiscuous environment went on to have sexier sons. Humans are pretty weird animals, let me count the ways, right? But our non-human compatriots display weird behaviors of their own, including some you might think of as being human only. 